Hey there guys, it's Jordan from Forest Fable, and I'm here today with the actual last day of the Borderlands 2 loot hunt, day number 30. Today's gun bounty is the legendary shotgun, the Flacker. So if you kill the target of the day, the Warrior, it's a guaranteed drop. The Warrior usually drops the uh, Flacker, usually has a chance to, but today it's a 100% chance. Farming the Warrior is usually fairly easy once you get to the vault of the Warrior where he's located, but let's look at how you get there in the first place. So you'll want to travel to Heroes Pass, which is the closest fast travel location to the vault. Once you get there, uh, just kind of follow the route. It's a fairly straightforward uh, area. It's just uh, somewhat long. You can choose to either fight the enemies along the way or avoid them altogether. Uh, it's also probably worth noting that uh, this video is going to have some spoilers because in order to fight the warrior, you'll need to have completed the main story line of Borderlands 2. Um, but sooner or later, you'll get to the end of this area, all the way down here, and there's a loot chest here if you want to check that out. Otherwise, just go ahead and travel into the Vault of the Warrior. Now, just prepare for battle. Uh, you still have a little bit of a ways to walk until you actually get to the Warrior, but just go ahead and walk through this cave. It'll open up into a volcanic area fairly soon. Take the elevator down. Uh, make sure to load up on any ammo or anything if you need it and then um, just go ahead and walk all the way up here towards the uh, like the big island in the uh, lava pool and then the warrior will appear uh, his main weak spots are his chest he has a critical hit spot in his mouth and then I believe there are also two spots on his sides where he's especially weak uh, he's resistant to explosive and incendiary damage um, I just brought my corrosive conference call coupled with my B shield and made uh, quick disposal of him um, but as you can see there he drops a ton of loot but you're looking for the flacker it's a legendary shotgun now it has the special ability flack the world uh, it does really high damage but it consumes four ammo per shot so that's kind of a bummer uh, but it has a really huge spread you guys will see this in just a second when I demonstrate so as you can see there the gun is uh, pretty unpredictable it just kind of explodes in a wide area. Uh, it doesn't go very far, so it's not suited at all for long-range or even mid-range combat. Um, nor is it suited for combat where enemies are literally right in front of you, because uh, the way that the gun works is the bullets have to travel a specific distance before they explode, and they only do damage when they explode. Uh, so it, it can be really nice in a pinch. Uh, it's really good for crowd control, but other than that, um, I wouldn't use it for general combat. But on to the uh, goal for the day. So the community goal for this weekend, because the loot hunt was extended, is to just essentially kill uh, tens of millions of enemies with the two guns. So yesterday it was the Kerblaster, today it is the Flacker. So basically just kill anything in the game using the Flacker and it'll count towards the community total. But thank you guys for tuning in today, and once again, thank you for tuning in over the past days for all of the Borderlands 2 Loot Hunt Forced Fable Guide videos. Uh, also, make sure to stay tuned to Forced Fable for more things like this and uh, some more upcoming videos in the near future. Uh, make sure to leave down below what you guys think of our videos and share us out if you really do like us. Um, but thank you guys for tuning in, and we will see you next time.